Good afternoon, dear Mr. Demolan, dear UNICEF colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, dear children. It is a great pleasure for me to be with you today to mark jointly with UNICEF the 25th anniversary of the Convention on the Rights of Child. November 89 was a historical day in many ways. For the first time, children were recognized as rights holders in the international treaty. This brought a systemic change for the realization of the children's right. November 89 is also personally very important for me because my first child was born in this time. Since 2008, the European Union and its member states have been committed to applying a comprehensive and integrated human rights based approach in all areas of European Union external action, including European Union financial assistance. This approach aims at fulfilling the rights of the most vulnerable children in fundamental areas such as nutrition, health, education and access to water and sanitation. UNICEF and the European Union have jointly developed a child rights toolkit integrating child rights in developing cooperation. The aim of this document is to strengthen the capacity of development partners, European Commission staff, bilateral donors and other development actors to integrate child rights into development programming, budgeting, policy making and law making. This is a critical time to make a strong call to turn the vision of the Convention into reality for children and to think of innovative approaches that can transform the lives of children everywhere. I think that today's Activate Talk event on the topic of child participation is in this direction. As we mark the 25th anniversary of the Convention, we can celebrate declining infant mortality and rising school enrollment. However, much remains to be done for children in the country. For example, access to preschool education is very limited. Substantial number of children is at risk of poverty. Children are often victims of sexual abuse and violence. Further efforts are still needed to improve children's health and nutrition. More also needs to be done to improve the inclusion of disadvantaged children, in particular children with, disabili in particular children with disabilities in the educational and social systems. Overall, too many children still do not enjoy their full rights. It is important to expand practices for increasing school enrollment and improving children's health through programs that provide direct assistance to the poorest families. The European Union financially supported implementation of the reform of the juvenile uh, justice system here. Currently, we are designing a program that will promote the implementation of alternative childcare services since we do believe that every child deserves a better future. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for your attention.